everyone, it's Fantasia. So the Behind the Sims just happened and we're gonna go through it today. So I have it just playing right now, but I'm gonna just be skipping through it with you guys and just talk about different things that they talked about. So we learned more about horses. We learned more about Project Renee, The Sims 5. Um, we did find out the winning kits. If you guys remember, we did vote for some kits. So we found out the create a sim kit and the build kit that did win. And then we found out some stuff about The Sims Freeplay and The Sims Mobile, which I probably won't really go into much, but we're just gonna kind to go through and of course the highlight is gonna be the sims 5 because i've been waiting for them to show more so of course like the last one they have this cute setup and everything and this one is very much just horse vibes like ranch so i thought this was cute but anyways let's go ahead and skip through so they did talk a little bit about just like behind the scenes stuff so we got to see that and they did show off create a horse which is exactly what i thought they would do i'm gonna actually mute this because you know we're not gonna be listening to it anyways but oh my goodness you guys can't look 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 so we got to see the horse traits we have aggressive brave deviant energetic fearful free spirit friendly independent intelligent mellow and needy i think these traits are perfect i'm actually really really happy with them i also love these little icons which you guys know we'll probably actually get these icons in game like as icons like png files which i mean you guys might not care about but i do because they're so cute to use in thumbnails and stuff so i literally that was the first thing i thought of <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very excited. <laughs> I wanted to see more with this, I have to say. I wanted to see like more different types of horses, but that's okay. Um, okay, so then they did show us like some glitches and stuff <laughs> that has happened. So I thought that was kind of funny. Look at the horse going around the barrels. So they did show off like some training, which I thought this was pretty cool. Like it actually seems like they're routing pretty well. So let's cross our fingers for that because that was something that I feel like a lot of people were concerned about. Um, we did see horses again after, oh, and then here's like the um, riding. <laughs> This it was like learning to ride. They did also show off behind the scenes there of just like the horse animation sounds and all that. So that was shown. And then look at this. Look at the kid on the horse and they're interacting. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting two horses to be able to interact like while sims are on them and then look 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 you guys look at the foal. Ah okay that part there's another clip okay this one they're learning to walk like they're all wobbly I don't know what was I wasn't expecting that so that's kind of all they showed there they did go back into create a sim I think one more time later um the sims team did actually visit like an actual horse ranch um, to kind of create this pack. So, oh, here we go. So there is a little bit more right here. Okay, so you can see this horse does not like that sim and they just like have different reactions to them. And they did say like horses are more like your friend, you work with them, you know, they're not like working for you. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, so here's more in create a sim. So I'm gonna just, you know, pause this. We can take a look. So you can see this is a mixed breed. See, I wanted to see like all these breeds and then I wanted them to scroll because I was like, is there unicorns or not? Because I'm so curious, I need to know. When we saw the pack items, like obviously those horns looked very realistic. But the thing is, the fact that the horns are an object is what's concerning me. You know, it makes me think you can just, because one of you guys actually pointed out in the comments that you don't think they're deco because they, they would look more cartoony if they were deco, which I completely agree. But by deco, I more so just mean like make your sim look like a unicorn. Like it's meant to look realistic, but they're just like not a real unicorn. You're just like playing pretend <laughs> and trying to just have them look like one, right? So I don't mean deco as in like, you know, a unicorn headband. I, I know it looks like an actual unicorn horn, but I still don't know if it's like really because we're getting unicorns or it's just that you can make any horse you want. And if you want them to look like a unicorn, you can, but that's it. Like there's not going to be anything that actually makes them a unicorn, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm worried about, but I guess we'll find out because you can see here, there's even like unicorn colors that you can do. And then you can see, of course, this is like cats and dogs create a sim. So you can do the paint tool and do anything you want. So like, for example, with cats and dogs, if you want to make a uni, a uni dog, you can do that. <laughs> And you can just like play pretend, like just pretend that they're like a magical dog. Um, So I feel like that's going to be the same situation, but I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But at the same time, if we were to get unicorns with another pack, I think it'd be fairies. Did you see that horse? Like that, I think is really freaking cool. Like just imagine what people are going to do. Oh my goodness. It's going to be so cool. I can't wait. 
more riding. And then look at the kid getting on the horse. I thought that was really cool. Then they kind of just talk a little bit about things that are coming with the pack that we kind of already knew about, like the mini goats and the nectar making. And then they reveal the official, hold on, the official gameplay trailer is July 6th. So that's not far at all. I'm pretty excited. I definitely still want to see more with gameplay. They really didn't reveal much else than what we already know, but it's weird. I swear to God, I predict things because I knew they were going to show create a horse. I just knew it. I was like, hey, that's one thing we haven't officially seen. People are still questioning if we are going to be having horses in Kratosim. It did say in the pack description, but you know, it's just, it's more official once you see it in a video that we can actually go into Kratosim and create them the same way as cats and dogs. So yeah, I had a feeling they were going to show that. And that was like kind of it for the horses. And then there was just, you know, some other things they talked about, some goofy little clips, you know, little skits. Oh, and then here we go. Okay, so the goth fashion kit one. And then you guys probably saw that there. The medieval castle kit also one. So I told you guys when I was voting that I didn't care if the futuristic or the medieval castle one uh, one. I didn't care like which one. I keep saying one, but like I'm saying two different ones. I know sounds weird. You get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I didn't care if the futuristic one won or the medieval one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but I had a feeling it was going to be medieval and just based off Twitter and stuff. So I chose the futuristic one, but I only chose it because I felt like we could get more use out of it with certain things like aliens and all that. Whereas medieval, we don't really have any medieval gameplay in the Sims yet. So now I'm just hoping we get like a going back in time type of pack. We haven't seen any like into the future or going back in time type of packs yet or into the future and then into the past. Oh my God. I would love to see both of those to be honest. We had into the future in the Sims 3. So we know that's something the Sims team could be considering, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know if that's ever going to happen in the Sims 4. I would love it though. And then this kit would become even more useful because right now, like that's the reason I didn't vote for it. That's purely the only reason because to be honest, the medieval items I know I'll like more but I just feel like they're not going to get touched because I don't play like that. I don't, you know, the only way I'd play it is if I like made royalty sims or something. And I'm just not going to do that because I feel like none of the worlds fit that. I don't know. I feel like aliens and we have six of them and all that. The futuristic one, I could just see myself using for certain situations. But yeah, the goth kit, I am so freaking happy. I cannot wait to see this stuff. You guys don't know, like this is literally my style. Maybe not this intense all the time. And I love skirts like this pleated skirts crop tops with like like anything with like mesh fishnet chokers all that stuff so yeah if we are getting things that look like this i'm gonna be so excited and it looks like you know from this obviously we've all seen it it looks like there's three different types of goth style in here to me these are giving three very different vibes i feel like goth you can i don't know i don't know what it is about goth but i feel like you can be goth in so many different ways Whereas like other styles, I don't know, like cottage core and like cozy and like what's another style? I don't even know. I can't even think. I feel like all the pieces look very similar. You know what I mean? But goth, I feel like it's that one fashion that you hear someone say they're goth and they could look a million different ways. Just how like I felt like I had to specifically specify like what type of goth outfit here I'm liking. So I like this because I just feel like we're going to be able to put together lots of different looks. And I feel like this is giving me like, oh my gosh, this is a great outfit for vampires. But then this is giving me, oh my gosh, all my cute alt girls in my game can wear this. And then she's giving me like, I don't even know what she's giving me, but I feel like I can picture a couple of my Sims like wearing stuff like this too. So they're just all different and I like that. So I feel like this kit is gonna give us quite a bit of variety, but anyways, I'm clearly excited about that one. <laughs> so then just some more talking and then I'm not gonna go too much into this, but they did actually talk about like lore, with the Caliente family. So that was discussed and they showed um, the family trees. Now on Twitter recently, they did talk about like slowly adding lore for the townies. So I don't know like how that's gonna roll out or what, um, but that was pretty exciting. So yeah, there was just a whole bunch of talk about the Caliente family. We love it, a classic. You can also see they just keep on doing this to us with this heart bed. <laughs> and then we got a disassembled heart bed with that kit, the basement kit or whatever. And it's just like, can you please give us the actual heart bed? We need it. Like <laughs> it's such a tease. But anyways, let's go ahead and skip through to Project Renee. So that's what we're gonna talk about next. They did talk about like The Sims Mobile and stuff. You can see like there's a new lot coming. And then with The Sims Free Play, we're getting like spas, I think. I don't know. I don't play these, so I'm not too interested, but it looks fun if you guys play that. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so here 
is where I believe they're getting into stuff. Yeah, okay, so Project Renee, The Sims 5. I'm not gonna skip too much with this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is a prototype scene. Can we take a minute at the graphics? This is what I'm most excited about because, well, I guess right now, because I'm someone who cares about gameplay more, but all we've seen is graphics. So like, I feel like all we can go off of if we're gonna like this or not is the graphics, which kind of sucks, but like understandably, um, cause it's so early. So keep in mind, this is very early. I already saw some comments, like people being worried about how the Sims look. And I'm just like, don't, don't worry. This is so early. This is a prototype. Like they're just like, ugh, I don't even know how to put it. Like at this point, the Sims look just like mannequins. <laughs> and like, <laughs> that's the point. They're just like testing out animations and stuff. Like that's not how they're going to look. So keep that in mind. But yeah, the graphics. First of all, another thing, I feel like we can get an idea of how the Sims are going to look by the items. Like obviously this is probably going to change too, but clearly we can tell like build mode is more finished. I feel like that's how it always is. Same with Paralyzed. Like build mode was finished like long before we ever saw gameplay or the characters. So it seems to just be that's how it is. Makes sense, right? You got to create the world and all the items before you're going to go ahead and work on the Sims and the animations. So yeah, that makes sense. But as you can see, like how realistic things are, I think this game game is gonna look more alpha-ish with a bit of cartoony. Like, that's what I'm getting from this. Not like alpha in the sense, uh, I don't know. You know how The Sims 3 like started to look more alpha looking and then we went back to cartoony? I feel like it's gonna be a mix. That's what I'm getting from this, but I could be wrong. I feel like it's actually gonna be a good mix that people like, you know? It's not like, like, look at this. It kind of reminds me of one of those like very realistic cartoon movies. Like that's what the scene looks like. I love it. Like all these books here. I'm obsessed with how realistic this looks. I'm really excited about that. Like, I don't know. It just looks like all the new simulation games that are being created nowadays. Like again, Paralives, for example. Paralives obviously has a very different graphic type and that's a good thing because we want them to look different. But like Paralives and all the other new games we've been seeing, I feel like they're really good at just like having the places look lived in and it just looks like an actual real, I don't know if you were to look at a movie scene or something or, or like a real person's house like <laughs> that's just what it's giving me like there's literally bread over here and i feel like in the sims 4 you know that game is like many years old now way older than we ever expected it to be still running and <laughs> for things to look like this in the sims 4 you need a lot of custom content and this is looking like this with no custom content so i just think that is so cool and oh my gosh and i love the fridge and like all this stuff on the fridge i don't know just the way everything's placed it just looks like someone lives here and that's like super important to me. All these plates stacked here. There's a lamp on top of here. Like why? I don't know. But like, <laughs> it just looks like realistic. And then there's stuff in the sink, guys. I don't know. I love this. It looks like there's like a blanket thrown over here. Okay, so there was some animation there, which I don't know. I didn't really like look into it too much because I just feel like it's so early. So like, I don't know. Active, passive, and secure, like different handshakes. Yeah, it looks like The Sims. <laughs> It looks like what we're used to. So I think that that's a good thing. You know, you don't want it to like completely change to how you're used to the Sims being. And then this next clip here, um, you know, again, <laughs> this is a very early like prototype scene, but we already knew this, I think, because we saw like the big apartment. But yeah, yeah, yeah. When there was like that play testing, it was in an apartment building. So yeah, apartments, corner store, okay, <laughs> tacos, dive bar, office three, office three, like what? What, what? This is going to be like, oh, this confirms corner store. Like, oh. <laughs> okay. I know I'm dramatic, but like, these are the little things. I really hope this is going to be good. You guys, I'm going to be excited all I want because just like the way this looks, being excited makes me happy. So I'm going to be excited. I don't know like how this is going to be, but just the fact that there's a corner store here and someone's walking in there. This just looks hilarious, but <laughs> this is so funny. But imagine this when it's all done. Like, what? I was literally just pointing out the other day in my Let's Play. There's like these corner store buildings and stuff around in the high school years world. And I was just like, why can't we go in here? I want to go in here so bad. Like, I just want things to feel like real life. Okay. That's one thing about The Sims 4. I love The Sims 4. It's one of my favorites, to be honest, even though it's lacking a lot of depth. It's one of my favorites just because of the creativity I can do with it and I can switch between any world I want. You can have your sim move into any world, but then like go to another world. Like you can't do that in The Sims 3 unless you use mods and it's a whole process. Like your sim can't travel from world to world. Even then you put them in a world and they're stuck there for their whole life. You can move them to a new world in a certain way with mods, but it's annoying 
<laughs> and like you can potentially lose some progress or memories or things that you did. Just the whole thing. If your family's too big, it's a whole thing. You know, that always sucked in The Sims 3. The Sims 2 was my fave, but The Sims 4 just still, even though it's lacking in all these ways, like, okay, this is what sucks. It's like my favorite in the sense of like, it has the best creative sim. It has like, it's the easiest to play. It's like the most user-friendly, basically. <laughs> it's the easiest for me to make stories and be creative with it in the way I want to with nothing interfering with what I'm doing. And all of that, right? the building is my favorite, all that stuff. But then there's all this like little details that are lacking that are in The Sims 3 and The Sims 2. And yeah, so seeing this just makes me happy. I know it's like so early and it's literally like we don't even know what's going to be in this corner store, but just the fact that someone's walking in there, it just feels like when you're in real life, there's corner stores everywhere. Like I just want that. <laughs> and then there's a beaster over here. I know I talked about that for so long. Also, this says park, so I'm assuming there's going to be park things here eventually. And then there's just like a taco place you can stop by and grab some tacos. Like, I just think that's so cool. Oh, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. All right, let's go ahead and look at this together. So you can see this is very early. Like, look at how early this is. This is what I was talking about. This is not how they're going to look. Like, <laughs> this is like a mannequin. Like, it's literally, they're just testing out animations and stuff. Like, you know what I mean? I don't even think they've given them a look at all, to be honest. So I'm not even going to, like, go over this whatsoever. This is nothing what they're going to look like. You can even see a lot of this is not polished. Like, a lot of this clip, I feel like, is not how it's going to look. You know, these items don't look as polished or as done. They look a lot more clay-like, I guess. Yeah, they don't have those details. So that whole thing, which by the way, can we go back again? Um, There's not much we can like go over. Like you can see here, like there's bladder nourishment. Like this is all going to look so different. So that's kind of like hard to go off anything. But obviously we can see here they're going to have needs. And then, yeah, I guess this is like the portraits for the Sims. Like, I don't know. None of this is going to look like anything. So I don't even know what to comment on. <laughs> Okay, and then color hair customization exploration. So you can see there's, I'm so happy. You guys, I'm so happy. But this is like what I miss from The Sims 3. They have like roots. It's gradual. We can make ombres. We can probably make streaks and everything. It's chill. Okay, and then, wait, 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 let's go back. I like this because, you know, even though it's so early, we can kind of see here. It says late morning. Oh, is that just like what time it is, I guess? There's probably not like an actual clock yet. I don't know, but we can get ready for the day, help with breakfast, watch Sam nervously. And then this looks like there's wine. <laughs> And then she's sad. I like the expression here. I do like that. I feel like that's something I can kind of go off right now. But you can see here the animations obviously are just very, you know, not polished. But look at this. Okay. See, this makes me so happy. There's stuff in the sink. Something's on the stove. There's a microwave up here. Like everything is just like all over the place, but like in the best way. On top of the fridge, it looks like there's cereals and stuff. Okay. And then here's another clip that I think this is my favorite one. Oh, and the next one, I think. This one, I feel like you can tell how polished everything's going to look. Like this toaster is like shiny. Look at the detail on the bread and the detail on here, like, like with the wood and stuff. And then all like this on the fridge. And then of course this sim is cooking. So let's go ahead and unpause this. So yeah, the it's like very choppy basically. So you can see here, like it's just not smoothed out yet. But look, she's getting mad at the sim here. <laughs> and I love it. Like, it's so early, but I love it. Hold on. I do want to pause it, like, on these clips. You can tell here, even from a distance, like, look at how realistic that lid looks. I love that. That's how you can tell they're not going to look like this at all. Like, look at the stove. The graphics just look, they're giving a different vibe than The Sims 4. Well, I mean, basically just looks like an upgraded Sims 4 based off like how the graphics look around them. That's just what it looks like to me. I know this is not even done yet, so you might still think like, oh, The Sims 4 looks better like the surroundings, but I can tell from like this early version that this is definitely going to look like what we're familiar with, but just upgraded, at least right now. It might change, but at least right now, that's what it's giving. So that was pretty much it. That's pretty much what we saw. So other than that, there was just some cute little clips at the end but what do you guys think about this i'm honestly so curious what you guys think and i of course the highlight for me was project renee i think this has to be my favorite little clip but yeah go ahead and comment down below i can't believe we got our first look at some little animations very early so don't even worry about how anything looks right now but i'm excited so with that said i'm gonna go ahead and just wrap up this video here go ahead and comment down below your thoughts are you guys excited about the winning kits are you excited for create a horse and of course are you excited about the way the sims 5 is looking are you glad they're showing us stuff so early because honestly i'm so glad so i hope you all enjoyed i hope you guys are all having an amazing day and i will see you all in my next video bye guys